Alright, so jumping right back into this, we're on Masamune Chapter 3, Unlimited Alchemist. I think that always just says the same thing in that screen, so I don't know why they bothered to do it twice. It was the day after I had e it was the day after I had eavesdropped on Masamune's fight. Yeah, what I say, every time I go into that hallway we eavesdrop. Although it wasn't really eavesdropping. If you're just there coincidentally, it's not eavesdropping. You can't help being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I peered into the courtyard and saw Masamune with a sour look on his face. There were other vassals gathered around as well, but only he looked up. Uh, oh darn it. Mm. Shout out to him. Um, Masamune. Princess. After I'd spoken, the other vassals looked up as well. Masamune started walking toward me, but he didn't look very happy. Uh, about today's practice. Uh, he was... he was trying to cancel it. I guess that was going on after I saw... I guess what was going on after I looked at his face. Yep. I was sure the situation with the other vassals would worsen if he continued to help me. What, am I supposed to, like, let all the vassals take turns helping me learn archery? Uh, you see... You're just in time. I came to talk to you about that. I have beaten Masamune to the punch. I'm going to stop practicing archery. Princess? Uh... I've... Oh, thank you for helping me up till today. Thank you for helping me up until today. I turned around to leave. Princess, wait! Masamune called out to me with a sour look on his face. You were so happy shooting arrows. What happened? Tell me your reason why. Uh, I'm helping you save face. If possible, I didn't want to say too much, but I didn't have a choice. I don't like archery anymore. Ugh. It hurts my hands, and it'll just make my arms bigger. <laughs> I've had enough of it. Jenny, you wouldn't mind that, would you? <laughs> you would. Why don't you take up archery, Jen? Build up those arm muscles. That's why I'm quitting. <laughs> Masumune's eyebrows didn't move an inch as he watched me. I averted my eyes. I apologize for wasting your time up until now. No, that's fine, but... I didn't wait for him to finish speaking and left. That's rude! You could have heard him out. It was frustrating. I was so upset. I felt like crying. Well, I guess it was almost like we were preempting a breakup, I suppose, so... Amidst my stressful circumstances, doing archery with Masamune had been genuinely fun. When I'd aimed at the target, I honed my thought I honed my thoughts, and it felt like my body had become lighter. Nevertheless, even in that situation, I had been causing him trouble. I had to stop being selfish. Still, it finally felt like I had found something I could do. That night, I was so frustrated I couldn't help I couldn't get any sleep. Well, she could practice archery on her own. I mean, she got some tips from him, so... Lots of people teach themselves stuff. <sighs> In the end, I hadn't slept and it slowly became morning. There was nothing I could do about it. I gave up and dressed myself before the maids woke up. I then left my room. The castle was silent before daybreak. I was sure people were awake in the kitchen and in the maids' room, but I didn't see anyone around. Oh! I approached the courtyard, and a lone target came into sight. I looked around and didn't see anyone else. <laughs> Mischief. I quickly went back and returned with a bow in hand. That was right. I could, I could continue practicing, even if Masamune didn't teach me any more. That's what I said! No one had stopped me from shooting arrows. Truthfully, I did want someone to teach me. I tensed up my navel and straightened myself out. I aimed at the target, pulled the bowstring back, and let go. However, I missed the target by a little bit, and the arrow pierced a haystack. A little bit? You, you must have missed the target completely, if it hit a haystack. That's right. He told me to calm down. That's pretty bad. <laughs> calm down and aim at the target for now. Masamune's words echoed in my mind. I concentrated on my breathing and aimed for the target. Once I had forgotten about my breathing and my mind had sharpened, I let the arrow fly. Thwip. The arrow had made a nice sound and was right on the bullseye. I did it! 
As I took a breather, I heard a deep voice. Magnificent. Ah! Before I knew it, Masamune was standing on the veranda. How long have you been watching? Since you readied your bow. You should have said something. You scared me. He did say something. <laughs> After you fired the arrow. I thought it would disturb you, so I didn't say anything and just watched. Masamune calmly smiled. I'm re I'm relieved. It looks like you didn't teach... Blah. It looks like you didn't dislike archery after all. <sighs> I had a feeling he had seen through my shoddy lie. I felt awkward. When I tried to change the subject, I saw the food Masamune had been carrying. Um, what's up with that food? Why do you have it? I made this. I thought I would give it to Prince Yukimura. Oh. I rushed over without thinking and looked at the food a little closer. There was a clear soup with peppers, boiled shellfish, and an array of complex dishes. Did you make all this, Masamune? I did. He sounded proud of himself. <laughs> he looks proud of himself, too. Look at that smile. Uh, I shall praise him. Oh, how amazing. You're really good at cooking, huh, Masamune? How can we say that? We didn't get to taste it yet. Once the war with the demons fades, I'll make this stuff for you, too. Why not now? Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, come on, give me a taste. It's my brother's stuff. I can steal his food. Is this salmon? Is this abalone? Right? This minced seafood looks delicious. Minced? Cut up? If you muck me any further, I'll cut you up and serve you on a plate, of, on a plate you hams. Were they teasing him about cooking? Come on. My face became stiff. No, it couldn't be. It couldn't. But... What if one of the vassals went missing? <laughs> Is she thinking he cooked one of the vassals? <laughs> <clears throat> Is something wrong with the minced fish? Uh, Don't ask him about the ingredients. I panicked and shook my head. Come on, it's just the kind of thing people say. N no, it, it's nothing. And why would he feed that to Yukimuro? He wouldn't do that. More importantly, if you don't go soon, the food will get cold. Right. Masamune nodded and started walking away. He suddenly stopped. Oh, princess. Yes? It's really made from mackerel. And, <laughs> and not from a human being. <laughs> don't worry. Did he actually know I heard that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and just like that, Masamune walked off. Was I imagining things, or had he just smiled? Jeez. Maybe he had realized I had been eavesdropping on his fight. We were eavesdropping! What was I supposed to do? Plug my ears and go la 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 la? If so, Masamuni was a jerk. He did that just to tease me. <laughs> I heard someone chuckling, but I didn't see anyone in sight. Kotaro! Oh, I swear, Masamuni is such a jerk. Or is it Yukimura? I don't know. Who's there? Where are you? Can't you speak a little softer? What if you call an uproar? There he is. Kotaro appeared in front of me as he spoke. My favorite man in the game. Where in the world did you come from? From above the ceiling. Kotaro pointed to the ceiling. The night sky was so pretty last night, I fell asleep while looking at it. One thing led to another, and I saw you practicing with a bow and arrow. I let out a long sigh. I said it to Masamune, and I'll say it to you. Why didn't you say anything? Well, that's because I didn't want to make him jealous, of course. Jealous? Kotaro had a mischievous expression on his face. If a military commander like Masamune had become jealous, I don't know what would have happened. <sighs> you know that Masamune's situation has gotten worse, right? Yes, of course. It's my job as a ninja to know about these things. Kotaro looked satisfied as we glared at each other. Why are we glaring at each other? I don't want things like this, but did you tell Nobunaga, I mean, father about this? What I, ha what I had said to Masamune, was it you who had told him? Clearly. Kotaro raised an eyebrow as if he was teasing me. Oh my, are you suspicious of me, princess? Oh, no, not exactly. Sorry for asking you such a strange question. I inferred from his tone that Kotaro wasn't the type of guy to do so, that kind of thing. Actually, he is. Oh, I don't like people who tattle. 
Really? I thought so. But who could have possibly overheard us without us knowing he was there? Besides Kotaro. However, I wouldn't hesitate to report things about someone I disliked. Oh, did he, does he dislike Masamune because he wants me for himself? Kotaro suddenly lowered his voice. Do you know what that man who had been threatened to be... Do you know what that man who had threatened to be cut up said? Huh? I got pulled in and lowered my voice too. Do you know? At that time, I had snuck into the barracks and had been drinking liquor. <laughs> Don't you want to hear what had happened? Uh, that's a mischievous look again. Kotaro's attitude suddenly changed. He stared at my face. I nodded without thinking. Then, take a seat for this one. Kotaro sat on the veranda and patted the floor next to him as a sign for me to sit too. He had suddenly become overly familiar. I thought that, but I couldn't gain something without losing something. I sat next to Kotaro. Well then, where should I start? Kotaro looked up at the sky and nodded. First of all, everyone had been drinking. Do you drink, princess? No. Then, you may not know this, but some people change when they drink alcohol. I'm going to talk about people like that, so keep that in mind. I understand, so go on. That night, many people had been drunk, but they had... But they had... Bleh, but they had picked a fight with Masamune. They had had sour looks on their faces and had taunted him for cooking like a woman. Ah, so it was cooking. Oh my! It made... It made me mad just hearing that, because I knew how obsessive Masamune was over food. But no matter what they said about him, Masamune acted like it didn't concern him. It had looked like he couldn't contain himself when they had spoken ill of you, princess. Ill of me? What did they say? You want to know? I thought about it for a minute. If I didn't know, I wouldn't feel right, like something was stuck in my throat. Yeah, I want to know what people are saying behind my back. Oh, I've never seen Kotaro make that face, I don't think. It's really cute. Well, I see. Hmm, but what should I do? Well, their words weren't pleasant, you know. Don't worry about it. Even if you say that, hmm. Kotaro groaned endlessly. Oh, come on, how tedious. Just tell me already. I ordered him to do so, and Kotaro shrugged. He looked away from me. Actually, he looks really surprised right now. <laughs> Were you surprised at my assertiveness? Well, basically, they'd ask if he was doing... If he had done stuff like you and how it felt. Stuff like that. Ah. In, in the end, they'd started saying he was a replacement for your fiancé. Replacement? He hasn't died yet. Excuse me? Kotaro had a wry smile on his face. Well, if you don't understand, that's fine. I slapped the floor with the palm of my hand. Uh, maybe I should have slapped him. <laughs> I understood. I was just disgusted at how vulgar that had been. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. I underestimated you. Jeez. When it came to men, I couldn't let my guard down. They got conceited if you went easy on them. That's why Mazumuni had gotten angry, right? Yeah. Until then, he had been sitting cross-legged, drinking, drinking without a care in the world. He had said... He had suddenly stood up and had grabbed the other man by the collar. He threatened to cut him. That was when I had gone to see him. Ah, there you have it. Oh, I'm sure they, I'm sure they were stressed out. The war with the demons has dragged on, after all. You might be right. It's Masamune's fault for allowing their drinking to party. What? Oh, for allowing their drinking party, thinking it would help them relax. Well... Open your heart and forgive them. Do I have to... No, I won't forgive them. I spoke frankly, and Kotaro's eyebrows lowered. Actually, they raised. Why do they keep doing this? Can't they use the appropriate expressions? <laughs> I know. But I will pretend I never heard about it. I'll just be passive-aggressive. Oh. I know they weren't... I know they wouldn't have thought that... Uh... I know I wouldn't have had enough guts to say things if I was... Oh, they... I know they wouldn't have had enough guts to say things if I was present. And it would be a waste of time speaking to each and every one of them. 
Well, you could call a meeting, but that would be uh, overbearing. Plus, Masamuni had scolded them in my stead. When I thought about it like that, I felt better inside. Hmm. Oh, that's right. It might be best if you told Masamuni to be careful with his drinking. Oh, why? Was it Masamuni in a bad mood the day after you had quit archery practice? Yeah. Moreover, his responses had been half-hearted. That wasn't because he would have been in a bad mood. It was because he'd had a hangover. Huh? That... That's why he tried to tell you he wanted a break from training for you for one day. Oh, <laughs> we overreacted. I'm sure he thought he could teach you while he re I'm sure he thought he couldn't teach you while he reeked of alcohol. So, that's what had happened. I was relieved after hearing that. I had thought they hated me for making you feel ashamed, but he had been worried about me. And about your archery practice. Yes? You should do what feels right. Kotaro could teach me? Or Nobunaga. Nobunaga taught me in his line. I looked over at Kotaro, and he was looking up at the sky with transparent eyes. If you went through the same thing Masamune did, you'd lose it too, right? That's why you said those things, right? You might be right. If you separated with Masamune for a stupid reason like that, I think those guys who would... I think those guys would get carried away again. I see. Oh. He was right. If I succeeded in tattling on them, the same things might happen. The same thing that about that I cannot talk today. <sighs> the same things might happen again. That's true. I nodded. If I don't have anything to feel guilty about, I shouldn't have to feel ashamed. Yeah, that's what I meant. You're a much better person than I thought, Kotoro. In any case, I'd only seen him bowing down with a daft smile on his face during our first meeting. To be honest, I didn't think he would be the type of person to get advice from. Well, I don't know about that. Kotaro smiled as if he was teasing me. If Masamune gave up in low spirits, that might have just caused me trouble. Trouble? What would? Actually, well, I made a bet. Uh -huh. A bet on what? On who the prince would end up on who the princess would end up marrying. Oh, excuse me? So his money's on Masamune? Right now, Masamune is a dark horse. If he doesn't win, I'll be in trouble. What did you say? Who are other people betting on? <laughs> as soon as I raised my fist, Kotaro nimbly went to the top of the roof. You jerk! Get down here, Kotaro! I can't mince you up if you're over there! Oh, how scary. I expected no less from Masamune's pupil. Oh, I'll get eaten if I go down. Kotaro continued to climb on the roof. Say, princess. What? Masamune isn't the simple guy who would get carried away after getting close to you. <sighs> he isn't the type of guy to get disheartened by people's words. Don't worry so much about it. You're right. Masamune still said he didn't care if people looked down on him after all. On the other hand, worrying too much about him might incur his wrath. Thanks, Kotaro. You really are a nice guy. Kotaro didn't reply. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's a playful, uh, mischievous sweetheart, but a sweetheart nonetheless. In the afternoon, I looked into the courtyard and saw the vassals training diligently. Amongst them was Masamune, of course. I took in a deep breath and called out to him. Masamune! Please teach me! I changed my mind again! Masamune's eyes were wide open. Didn't you say you had quit? I decided to quit quitting. <laughs> if I slack off, I won't be able to go up against the demon. I went down to the courtyard and got on my knees. I looked over at the vassals watching us. Shouldn't we have done this in private? Does anyone here find our relationship sus suspicious or suspect him of treason? Several of the vassals' shoulders swayed. I took a deep breath and glared at them. Then I spoke from my chest. That's an insult upon my household. I deem anyone who thinks that way a traitor, got it? That's a way to stand up for yourself, Saya. The next time I hear something like that, I'll mince you up and serve you on a plate. Yes, princess. I was satisfied as they bowed down to me. I thought of something and looked at Masamune. Man, my jaw is clicking. 
And so are my joints. My, that's my wrists. Everything's cracking. Oh, I'll leave the mincing to you. Oh, it was the wrong voice. Oh, I'll leave the mincing to you, Masamune. I'll leave the dirty work to him. I've never cooked before. Masamune smiled broadly. Then shall I teach you to cook? Then shall I teach you to cook my secret recipe? <laughs> that doesn't sound bad at all. I smiled as well. I was happy and it felt great. Ah, chapter three over already. So short. Well, at least that means I can make more videos. So, to be continued momentarily again.